quick spree. Spears, room 50. Spears 45. Spears 40. Spears 35. Spears 30. Spears near side 20. Touchback 15. 10. 5. And he's taken down there. What a job by Spears. Or Spears was electric with that football in his hands, especially in the open field. <laughs> But there he is, the Yuli Bulldozer, Derrick Henry. Got Chris Moore, can he catch it? No, what a catch! Him. Ryan Tannehill! No. Big Jeff! Fires up the other second. Amani Hooker, there's Hopkins making the catch. Welcome to the Bet MGM Studio and Titans All Access. I'm Mike Keith with a special guest host. This is General Manager Rand Carthon. You didn't know you were signing up for this, did you? You just threw me off with the guest host. I didn't know I was the guest host. Well, you today, are. Here, we'll, take we'll, that. I'm leaving. No. <laughs> we'll take it. Well, we're glad you're here. A lot to talk about on this show. Titans entered the bye, and this guy has now been on the job here for nine months. It has been a whirlwind. How long ago does it feel that day you walked into Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park and the entire staff was there to greet you. It feels like it was three years ago. Um, you know, it's, it's so much has happened, like you said, it's been a whirlwind. So much has happened from that day. You know, you go back to the actual interview process. Job offer Tuesday, back here Thursday, and been here ever since, you know. And so it's uh, been a crazy journey, but it's been fun. Uh, been worth the wait. You've been in the NFL basically your whole adult life, but this is the first time you've been a general manager. How does your day-to-day -day sort of work moving from basically Monday to Sunday? The day starts off with me taking some me time, you know, and uh, from the time I get in to about 7.30, 7.45, I'm kind of to myself, getting myself together, getting my thoughts together, whether that's, you know, doing some cardio or getting some early uh, film in. Um, but other than that, it's, you know, making sure Mike is good, you know, on a day to day basis, making sure the roster is good, making sure we don't have any tweaks uh, that we need to make and getting an early jump on the draft guys, early jump on free agent guys and just knowing who's available and always looking to churn the bottom of our roster. 11 games left. Titans haven't gotten off to the start that anybody hoped that this team would. Where are you most optimistic that this team can grow and improve over the last 11 games? Um, I think today in a, in a team meeting, you know, Mike showed a bunch of clips of you know, this is how we're going to have to do it to win. You know, and here are, the, here are the ways that, you know, we can improve upon. The games that we've lost, we've been in them, you know, at one point or another. And so we just have to continue to um, make the plays that are there in front of us. I'm really encouraged we have 11 more games to go. We have talented football players on our team, and we have Mike Brable as our head coach. Who are the young players that you're most excited about right now? You know, our draft class, I think they've all contributed in one way or another. Um, you know, it's always exciting to see Tajay do something big with the football. And, you know, Peter's just been what you thought Peter was going to be coming in. He's just been a consummate pro. He's the young old man. You know, excited for Josh Wiley um, to see how he continues to grow. His snap counts have been increasing um, as the weeks have gone on. And, you know, as we get down this stretch, you know, we're going to need a lot of the young guys. And, you know, guys like Anthony Kendall, who came in as undrafted, and he's making a name for himself on special teams and you know the Matt Jacksons of the world so we got a you know a bunch of young rookie guys whether it's drafted or undrafted that have you know had some level of success and have uh, contributed to us now as you know we just got back from London Ren Carthon the Titans general manager had to work the entire time yeah it was man it was brutal from the time we made it now nah. all right <laughs> so he may not have worked the entire time I worked even less so in our series follow me through Tennessee we've shown you different places where we go throughout the state we're going to have a follow me through London segment coming up next on Titans All Access. Welcome back to the beautiful Bet MGM studio and Titans All Access. General Manager Rand Carthon is the guest host on the Bye Week show. We're awfully glad to have him. Now, the question I have for you is, do you think I could convince the Titans All Access audience that I worked incredibly hard while I was in London for three days last week? Can you... I think you can. Do you really? I think you can. I, I think you. I think you're. I think they know me better I after a few years. No, but I think you're a respected enough guy 
and they know you work hard at it. I'm not buying it. But okay, well, I'm good. Sure, I'm sure there's some people out there in TV. Nine months that is world. already on to me. All right, so I fooled him in nine months, but I don't fool everybody because even when I was working in London, I was still having a great time. So this week, Listen Up with Duncan went along with me. Yes, I ask you to follow me through London. Time to go to London. This is where we always park for road trips, but obviously gonna have to go through a lot more of a screen, so we're having to get here about two to two and a half hours early to go through the process. We're ready to get on the plane and ready to head to London's Heathrow Airport. Here we go. Look who I get to sit next to. Say hello, coach. She's filming next 12 hours. Welcome to North London. Here we are, Titans checking in, ready to get going on what's gonna be a really busy day, if you can believe this. Flight was seven hours, it was very smooth. We're gonna get everybody moving. The big thing you don't do is take a nap. Don't take a nap. We're gonna get right into meetings with everybody and then get out to practice. I'll see you at practice in a little while. Rainy day here in London, but the Titans are on the practice field, getting work here at the Grove where they stayed. And I'm gonna be waiting on a Titans player to come by afterwards too. Kevin Byard, Mayor of Murfreesboro in London. Good to see you. Glad to be here. But this is gonna be fun. We've got to do this interview. Are you prepared? Did you stay up studying on the plane for the Yes. Year? I barely got any sleep, but we're gonna to try to truck through the day, you know, and try not to go to sleep until eight o'clock tonight. Here we go. Kevin Byard is one of only five Tennessee Titans players. All right, we're on the bus to London post-practice. This is Michelle Keith. She's my wife. We have the same last name. Very excited to be going into London. What are you most excited to do in London? It's your town. Fish and chips. Really? Yeah, and drink a pint. Drink a pint, eat fish and chips. So we're going to do the touristy things. Brad Willis from Titans Radio. He's excited to be watching <laughs> walkthrough. <laughs> Jamie Erdahl, NFL Network, here in London. Introduce yourself to, to Titans fans, if you would. Just say just say hello on behalf of you and Jason McCourty. On behalf of Jason McCourty and myself, who I haven't seen in about 12 days. I get to go back to Good Morning Football next week, but now I'm here. I got to stay in town to call, be on the sideline for Titans Ravens. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. We had a lot of fun yesterday. Now it's down to business. Time to record the open for the broadcast. Let's go. Headed down to the field. Usually don't do this, but we're in London and this stadium is phenomenal. And I just want to get the view from the field because I'm a fan. I can't believe this place. This is great, yeah. but our new one will be fancier than this. Good, yeah. So how is this similar or different to what our place is gonna be? Super similar. See how there's no beds here. The house is almost the exact same. Seating capacity, the, the seats are at a similar pitch. Very, very similar. That's what I thought. Outside of about three hours on Sunday, I had a great trip. Same? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> fair. Fair to say. You know, when we got on the plane, they were like, is there anything we can do to make your trip better? I was like, can we rewind that and do get a do-over? That's right. It would have been great to end it the way we did. But it, all in all, it was a great experience to be, you know, across the pond and see how many Titan fans that showed up. And it was, it was just unbelievable. It is unbelievable from around the world and great NFL fans. Yeah, absolutely. It's a celebration of the NFL, undoubtedly. When we come back... The Nissan Insider. This week, it's also very special. I sit down with the head coach, Mike Vrabel. That's next on Titans All Access. Yeah, Henry looking for Remy, finds it. To the 10, to the 5, dives for the end zone. Touchdown, Titan go! The King has landed in the end zone in London. 
It's time for the decision of the week. Presented by Hughes and Coleman, we salute Titans owner Amy Adams Strunk for her decision to bring back the Oilers uniforms this season. As a matter of fact, the team will debut the complete uniform that they wore from 1981 to 1998 next weekend when the Titans host the Falcons. The fans of Two Tone Blue are excited to see the Love You Blue on October 29 at Nissan Stadium. That's the decision of the week presented by Hughes and Coleman. Welcome back to Titans All Access. Time for the Nissan Insider portion of our program and our special guest, the head coach of the Titans, Mike Vrabel. Uh, from your TV show, I grabbed your your keys to the week, and I, I want to get you to expound on them if you would. Key number one, fundamentals in all three phases. Why was it so important to work on that during the box? Well, that's a great opportunity to kind of just not worry about scheme, not worry about an opponent, but focus on ourselves. Like that's that's the, where do we start, right? You have to have some self-improvement. It's got to start with me, the coaching staff, the players. Uh, and so the easiest way to improve uh, right now is on, with, with technique and fundamentals. And yeah, it's okay to play hard and everything else, but at some point in time, you have to rely on your fundamentals uh, pass rush, stopping a run, running the football, blocking, tackling, uh, ball disruption, things that, you know, there's some things that happen in there that have been you know, enough to help us win, but just not enough, and, and, and those things have to continue to show up. All right, key number two, development of younger players. We have, we have some young guys, and, and, and maybe they've played, some have, some haven't as much, and uh, some have had to uh, play special teams, and, and when I say younger, it's also newer players, right? Making sure that we, we get Travis Gibson opportunities to, to play for us. Younger or newer or guys that haven't had as many banked reps through the, the course of the first six weeks. All right, your third key on your TV show was better understanding for overall concepts. It, it's it's not enough to, to go and, and play hard. You have to have an idea of what's going on around you. Uh, we have to do our job, but I think that there's, for us to improve and, and win consistently, everybody out there uh, has to understand what everybody else's job is and how they function within the play. And if something breaks down, are, are we good enough? And, and we have to be good enough to make up for something else that somebody else does, whether that's on a punt coverage, see a guy here, go there. His job was to set the edge. I'm going to now go set the edge. He's going to fill in offensively. The play is designed to, for a double team and a kick out, and we're going to have to make sure that those are things that happen. I'm just using those as an example, but having a, a greater understanding of, of what's going on around us in the design. You mentioned that you talked with the team about what you have to do to win, what the 2023 Titans must do to win. How do you get that across? Examples? Well, I mean, you try to show it, you practice it. I mean, you show them when we don't, you show them when we turn the ball over, you show when we have self-inflicted wounds in the red zone. I mean, just astronomical yardage lost in the red zone by just mistakes. And you know, if they beat us, they beat us. If we give it to them, shame on us. First and 20, second and 17s, third and 17s. Like, I, Th those are just bad yardages to, to try to live with and it's throughout and it's something different each time and, and then obviously when we can be efficient down there you know we've had an opportunity to score some touchdowns those are things that you can't do and try to explain to them you know we, we have to hit the quarterback more than three times in two games create turnovers and yet you remain very optimistic about this football team why well because i know the guys that we have on here i know the people in this building I know our, our staff uh, throughout the organization, I believe in it. Uh, you know, we just have to do some things a little better and, and not, not beat ourselves. Coach, enjoy the weekend. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Mike Vrabel, our Nissan Insider on this edition of Titans All Access. We're back in the Bet MGM studio right after this. Titans All Access continues with Coach Dave McGinnis taking us Beneath the Surface, powered by Microsoft. We're going to look at a couple of big plays from Sunday's game, and the three of us are going to talk through a couple of players who made things happen. Coach? Rand, the three of us. Rand, do, do, do the honors, would you? You don't have to go home, but you got to go out of this segment. Okay. Appreciate you. Are you serious? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Every year, it's been Thank you. Mac? Yeah, he's gone. On you, brother. Okay, good. 
Okay, we're going to look at Sean Murphy Bunny here. This is where we're going to look at. This is an interception down here in the red zone. They're in 11 personnel. We're talking about the Ravens. 11 personnel, three by one. As it comes out, he's in great shape. He's in phase. Really nice catch by Sean Murphy Bunny. And if he doesn't just get tripped up right there at the end, Rand, I want you to show us the reason this ball was thrown high. We got to watch Big Jeff here. He's running a game with uh, Danico. We call that a TT. One guy goes, picks for the other, the other guy loops around. And we talk about it, Mac, you've talked about it. Matching the hand. Matching the hand allows you to come in, matching the hand, the throwing hand of the quarterback, and it keeps you from now, there's a point of emphasis of the head and neck area, you know, of the quarterback and keeps you from getting a penalty. But if you match the hand, you're more in line to come with just that right side of the body. Watch him match the hand, as Rand said. Look at that hand come up. The ball is thrown high. Sean Murphy Bunning, excellent, excellent catch. Like you mentioned, if SMB can just get out of this tackle right here by this guy, he has, I'm going to use all the circles now. Use anything you want. Two, three, four, five. He's got guys just ready to build this wall. Look at this. Build the wall to get him to the end zone. All right, this next play, the ball is just past the, the, the midfield point back in our, our, our area of the field. This is a point in the ball game where we're going to have to make a play. You're going to have to make a play. All right, let's watch Ty J Spears. Can I circle him? Yes, you can right circle there, everybody. Him. Do whatever you want. You're the general manager. <laughs> and Mike Keith's not here to tell us what to do. That's hey, the best uh, part. Watch how quick this ball comes out. Now the ball is out. Okay, Rand, go to work. Start start looking at, at who's who's throwing the blocks where. So we got a block here, I believe that's Chig. We got two linemen out front. I think that's MPF and Peter. We got Brew coming. You got Brunskill coming. Um, you got Hubbard coming. And all these guys are leading the way. And then you look down, you got Kyle Phillips ready. You got another receiver here. I think that's Nick up top. But just watch the effort of all these guys. When we talk about Titan football, this play is the epitome of Titan football and what we want. Guys that are going to finish longer than the person who has the ball, which is Tajay. And you're going to see bodies flying all over the place. You're going to see Brew get a knockdown block. But this is what Titan football looks like. Excellent. All right, let's take a look. Let's make all these circles disappear and let's make a move. Block. Block, block. Now, this guy gets the ball in his hands. He has got some juju to him. Ball comes out. Keep your eye on all the offensive linemen. Watch them run down the field. Look where they're ending up, all of them. Down the field, down the field, down the field, down the field. Let's stop it right here. Count the offensive linemen, Rand. Go ahead and put your circle on the offensive linemen that are downfield on this huge, huge, ex huge explosive play. Just draw another circle. That's perfect. There we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> So what we're looking at here, this is a big time play, but it's a big, big time effort at the end of the ball game. Rand just mentioned Titans football. This is what you watch at practice every, every day. This type of effort. Well, we're going to ignore this. Okay, all right. We'll just ignore this okay. and keep going. Let's okay. go. We've got to go to break. Rand, you ready to go to break? Do what I, you do, Mac. I guess break. <laughs> break. Just break. This is Stadium in 60. A quick update on the Titans' new stadium. Yes, the new Titan Stadium will have a roof, but this will not be one of the old school dark domes. Oh no, this roof will be translucent and the style was chosen to give the new Titan Stadium a totally indoor outdoor feel. Um, I've told people, look, you can leave your umbrella at home, but you still might need to bring your sunglasses on a sunny day because it's that type of, of sunlight ambiance that comes in and uh, it's, it's a really, really special feeling. A great, a great way to watch a, an NFL football game. This feels totally different. This feels like you're outside. And we're also gonna have garage doors uh, on the outside walls so that on a nice day in Nashville, we can have those garage doors open. You'll get a cross breeze throughout the building and you'll still have the sunlight coming through. So it's really the best of both worlds. It's an indoor experience. You're protected from the elements. You're not gonna have games that get delayed or canceled because of lightning. And yet you still get the benefits of those, those outdoor feelings. For the latest news, visit titansnewstadium.com. Rand Carthon. Back from Coach Mack to rejoin me for this segment of Titans All Access in the Bet MGM studio. It's time for the Seat Geek Keys, not to victory, to a great bye weekend. Key number one, enjoy football without pressure. It's a pretty great thing. You sit on the couch, you eat some chips, you get a pizza, 
whatever beverage you want, and all of a sudden you just get to be a fan on Friday, on Saturday, and on Sunday. I was going to say it depends on who you're rooting for on, on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> all right, key number two, blow off expected chores. That's right, you're going to buy a weekend, you're expected to do things, just don't do it. That's too much pressure. Then you can't enjoy football fully. So whatever the chores are, put them off or hire the guy. Um, have you ever heard of a honey-do list? Yes, I have. Um, do you have and, one? And have you ever heard of happy wife, happy life? Yes, I've heard of that too. Yeah, so that's... It's, we well, have to get creative though. Know, I'll work with you on this. It, it's time to work. I, I know, it is time to work. <laughs> All right, and here's the other part. I think most importantly, get your mind right. Because we got 11 more games. We've seen these things turn around in the past. We turned it around four years ago and went to the AFC Championship game after the same start. You got to use this time to kind of get away from it a little bit. We're kidding about the first two keys, but this is the big one. Get your mind right and get ready to push through October into November, December, and January. Absolutely, and that's what this time of year is about. You know, it's the first quarter of the season is happening, kind of gets you, gets you going, and we're into the you know, the second quarter, and now it's time. It's, this is when the real football starts. This is when you find out what type of team you have. And getting this bye week at this time, we've had a couple injuries, you know, get some guys some rest. And guys get home and recalibrate and know that we need to lock in for these next 11. These are the ones that count and matter. And uh, it'll be good for all of us, not only the players, but our coaches and just our staff and our building. Everyone's been working so hard. You know, it's time to get away and miss it a little bit and come back all inches fired. Yeah, let's do it. Thanks very much. Yeah, Thanks absolutely. for doing this. Rand Carthon, Titans general manager with us in the Bet MGM studio. Here with us for an edition of Titans All Access. Next week, we're going to be talking a lot about Oilers because the Titans will be wearing the Oilers throwbacks against the Falcons. That's next week on Titans All Access. For Rand Carthon, I'm Mike Keith, and we'll see you next time.